An intense heat wave continues across much of the country with dangerous conditions in some places and no relief in sight. And global heat records are raising alarm about a warming planet. CBS News' Bradley Blackburn joins us live from the newsroom with more. Bradley? Alice, Doug, the real question, are these conditions the new normal for summer? The National Weather Service says unusually hot weather will continue from South Florida all the way to the Pacific Northwest today. And Phoenix is bracing for even hotter temperatures this week. Some believe they could be experiencing their worst heat wave ever. The heat of the summer is here, no matter where you are or who you are. The president and first lady hit the beach in Delaware Saturday, soaking up rays in the ocean breeze right by other beachgoers. Everyone is looking to beat the heat, which in many places is at extreme levels. Try to be done out of the fields by noon at the latest. In the southwest, excessive heat warnings are expected to last through the week. Phoenix has hit at least 110 degrees every day this month, temperatures that can be dangerous. It's not uncommon within 30 minutes to be unconscious from the heat. In Wildwood, New Jersey, a fire at a substation knocked out power for tens of thousands, meaning no fans, no air conditioning. It's, I'm sweating. The earth itself broke heat records last week with global temperatures reaching all-time highs. And scientists say it's more evidence of a changing climate. In a word, uh, human-caused warming. It's not rocket science. You make the planet hotter, you're going to get more frequent, intense, long-lasting heat waves. Extreme wildfires are also a growing threat, like the Canadian fires that have polluted the air for millions of Americans. We need to be removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, including planting more forests, taking better care of grassland and agricultural soils, removing carbon from the atmosphere, and cooling the climate. Uh Scientists say if we don't take action on climate change, then in the next few years, these searing heat waves could become typical conditions in the summer months. Not a pleasant idea, Doug. Not at all. Bradley Blackburn live for us this morning in our newsroom. Bradley, thank you.